Now, welcome back. Are you thinking about changing up your diet in 2024? Well, you have heard of dry January, but how about the January? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined by journalist and content creator Angela Yvonne, who helps people transition into the vegan lifestyle using the 3M method. Angela, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much. Welcome home to you. You're originally from here. You went to high school I went for to Hillcrest High School right here, yeah. but my family is from here. Okay. The Meekins, the Sullivans, the Goldens, <laughs> the Johnsons. It's a whole crew. The big of us. old family. You live yes. in Brooklyn, New York now, so yes. we're excited to have you in town to talk Thank about. Thank you so much for having me. A lot of people change. have a Southern girl up there yeah. trying to take care of that crowd. Yes, <laughs> well, now, Did you have an epiphany when you decided to go vegan? Well, I became vegan because my mom had gotten breast cancer, mm -hmm. and I swore it was in the food. So I became a vegetarian, and that's when I thought about, well, the 3M method didn't come to fruition until later on, but I knew that that would be a great way for people to understand how to transition, because people think that transitioning is just jumping out the window, when with the 3M method, you could do a meatless meal, you could do meatless Mondays, you can do a meatless month because the way I transitioned was because I used to love like Chick-fil-A, <laughs> Waffle House, yeah. scrambled dice covered, <laughs> like, McDonald's, I, I love it. two now, cheeseburgers, chocolate shake fries. <laughs> For those but, of us still learning, uh, yeah. vegetarians and vegans, what's the difference? Well, vegetarians, some of them still eat animal products and not necessarily the flesh. Like the butter or the milk? Yes, okay. yes, they'll do butter, they'll still do Jesus. cheese. Okay. But vegans, we, do not eat anything that has to deal with animal products. So instead of honey, right. we would do agave or maple, maple syrup. syrup. Um, and you still do some of those like meat substitutes, which is, you know, a lot of people say, like, oh, there's no way I can cut it out. And you have some great ways. And we have some in the video. You have a great show called Vegan Pop Eats that yes. you do online. And you really help people transition from Absolutely. their lifestyle into one that's a little bit healthier. The, you want to make meat obsolete. That's your, your, yes, your slogan. Yes, make meat obsolete because one, it's causing a problem in our environment. Two, when you really think about it, when we came to be known or whatever, we didn't really eat meat like that. Mm -hmm. We didn't start eating meat till we were colonized. Mm -hmm. And when now we you're became colonized. you African Americans primarily though, right? Absolutely. Yes, That's yes, where yes, you're yes. From with that. But um, when we became colonized, we mostly ate meat as a celebration. Mm -hmm. But we were foraging, we were eating, you know, my saying is if it's not from the ground, you put it down. Well, yeah. I was just looking at that quote. I was getting yes. ready to hit you with that. Yes. Yeah. And there, there's a lot of things, you know, especially in, we talk about the health problems that a lot of people of color have because of what we eat is Absolutely. it's like getting back to the root of like what we Absolutely. used to eat and which is a, a bit healthier than than you know what we do now so what can people do right now when they're thinking about making that cut of course the the 3m method it really kind of breaks it down just yes. do a meat, meatless monday do things like that yes um, on your show what are some of the things that you target to kind of help us get there well what i really target is the budget friendly aspect of it because yeah. people think veganism is so expensive and it's not. I can feed you breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 20 bucks. 20 well, bucks. 20 expensive. bucks. And it's worse. <laughs> 20 <laughs> bucks. And so that's why um, I brought some of the things that are also in my ebook that I have. I'm not a chef, but I can feed you. But <laughs> there's seven <laughs> budget friendly that. recipes and chickpeas are very inexpensive. Yeah. You can find them a can, maybe 99 cents to a dollar, mm. but they are so multifaceted. You could do curries, you can do chana sag because mm -hmm. if you love um, Indian um, food, but what Indian I food. really love Curry. and which is quick and what I always have in my refrigerator is the chickpea un tuna. So this is not tuna, it looks like no. tuna, but this is made with no. chickpeas. It's made with chickpeas and what's so good about it is you just mash the chickpeas and you make it like how you would make the okay. tuna yeah. fish. And so you can add all types of things in there. Yes, absolutely. We're, we're going to try it, but tell us where to find you, your shows, where we can we're watch you well, video. Well, I'm on wise. IG at Vegan Pop Eats 2. I'm also on YouTube, Vegan Pop Eats. And all the social medias is Vegan Pop Eats. And then you'll find yeah. me on red carpets and you'll also find me speaking to a lot of the influential voices in our space. How about the ebook? This is really good, by the oh, way. Yes. The ebook e e is also on my website, which is veganpopeats.com. Okay. You don't miss the fish. No. What is in here? Tell us. This is tuna. Oh, open the it's sandwich up. Let's look inside. Oh, I have it open right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. no worries. Um, but this is tuna. And what, okay. I mean, not tuna, I'm sorry. Um, carrots. And you can do the pulp. Like, if you juice, you just use the pulp from the juice because then you just add the veganaise, the capers, the, yeah. the um, sweet relish, 
onions, I peppers. Figured, you got it. So for yes. people that so people that want to get these recipes, mm -hmm. do you share these online as well? Oh, absolutely. You can find me on the gram doing it, and also they are in my ebooks. Mmm, that's so good. It's in my beard. <laughs> Mm. You like it? I like it. Napkin. Yes. One napkin Here's drink. your napkin. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Yes, and, indeed. And you say you want to get more into space outside of like just food. You wanted to talk about how veganism. Yes. The goal is is to be a permanent correspondent or expert on a major platform mm -hmm. where we're talking about our lifestyle because people don't think that people think that veganism is just about the food. We have vegan hotels, we have vegan fashion shows, even the automobile industry is getting into it by doing um, vegan leather inside of their, their um, mm -hmm. cars. And there's recycling, there's sustainability, we have vegan beauty products that are hot. Do you feel better since you did this? Yes, you changed over. I feel better. I look better. I'm 185 years old. We laugh. That's what you look like when you don't eat no meat. If you want to be 185 years old and look, look like you're good. 26, yes. go to veganpopeats.com, follow her on the social media, and anytime you're back here in the Carolinas, come see us. Absolutely. We'll even dial you up on Zoom, so we'll make it happen. Oh, Happy yes. Happy New Year to you. I would love to be here. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you. And the New Year, yeah, that's our question of the day. Uh, what did you not get done in 2023?